Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay Will. So finally I can take time to do after the hype for the iPhone 7 Plus. Let's jump into it. So, how have I been doing with this phone? How has it been treating me? What do I like about it? What I dislike about it? What's changed in the last 48 to 72 hours that I've been using the phone? I'll talk about it in these videos what I do for after the hype because like I always say, when you first get a phone, that initial rush, that, that oh, I can't wait to get it, you know, the, oh man, I, you know, this has got something new coming. Especially if you're a reviewer, uh, you love getting the latest and greatest when you can get it to review. And if it's available to purchase, you buy it. If it's, you know, whoever, if you're if any kind of reviewer. And some people that are non-techies and that don't do reviews, they do the same thing. They have that same rush. We all get that same rush. In some videos, you might not see other reviewers saying that they're excited or, you know, showing any kind of emotion. They're just kind of reading a script and I, I don't do that. I'm a real consumer just like you. I'm just more on the techie side. So my slider goes more towards the techie side. So and after the hype, I tell you guys what's worn off and what's gotten better and what I'm still excited about. So with that being said, um, here's what I've come across that you know, it's not so much my favorite about the phone already. Uh, it's this home button. The home button is nice but I you know something about it uh, just having to click it you can unlock it and then you can you press it again to unlock it now on the iPhone on the older iPhones iPhone 6 that's down you can actually turn that off to where you just rest your finger on there and it unlocks and goes straight to your desktop um, shout out to um, T Franks for putting that video out and um, I put those settings on my other iPhone successes however with the iPhone 7, that, that option isn't there. So, and if it is there, someone help me in the comments. You know, I'm human, I make mistakes, but I've looked everywhere in the settings uh, where, where it would normally be. And under the home button, um, there's, you know, this is all I get. Just how to set it up. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So the home button, while it is functional, I do, I do enjoy it. You know, I do like the, uh, fake now it's just a glad it feels like you're actually clicking something this is what I love about 3d touch it's like that on my MacBook Pro too I love that you know it's, it's not actual moving hardware it's just the illusion of it and I think that's great technology however I'll get used to it I just feel like I'm using um, an, another type of device like a Samsung device where I gotta press it and then the whole keep my finger on there to do it nonetheless it's all good so the, the fingerprint reader uh, the home button uh, it's gonna take some getting used to, uh, and I'm not too thrilled about that. Not not a bad thing. It's just you know you might like it. So if you like it, great. Uh, you know enjoy it. I like it. I don't like the way I have to access the phone. I've gotten used to the Moto Z's, the One Plus Three, anything that doesn't have the HTC, anything that doesn't have a functional button, you just touch it. I've actually gotten used to that. And because before I said I didn't really care for that, but it's actually grown on me. So with that being said, this button will grow on me too. Uh, so. You know the, the button now also on every device that I have running iOS 10 that's not an iPhone 7 the battery life is just destroyed by it so what I do is I've downgraded all of my my phones and tablets that were not well I, I downloaded all my phones uh, downgraded and then my tablet I took it back I took them they're, they're, none of them are on on 10 uh, because the battery life is just a killer so with that being said the battery life on this phone since it's actually an iPhone 7 and the hardware, it's, it's up to date internally. The battery life I found is different than some of my older devices, like the iPhone 6S Plus and the iPhone 6S. The battery life on those don't match the battery life on here, meaning it's better on those when I keep them on the older version and don't move them to 10. But this phone being on 10, it's actually on 10.0.2 because as soon as I took it out of the box, I got an update to 10.0.2 and the battery life is pretty good so you know showing uh, let me see what I've got on screen on time now or just usage <clears throat> the battery life I had prior to this charge well I've done several charges I think I've done three charges or four charges maybe so far so right now I'm at eight hours uh, with 20 I'm eight hours and 38 minutes of usage 22 percent left and 25 hours of standby so one would say oh my gosh Jay that's fantastic you know but on my iPhone 6s plus and iPhone 6 just the other iPhones the battery life on 10 is definitely not that good uh, and on on um, keeping the other ones on 9.5 uh, 9.3 9.3.5 something like whatever it is their battery life is fantastic 
So I found that if I'm not using this iPhone, the battery life, the, uh, um, you know, it's not too good if I move them up to 10. So I moved them all back down, and uh, I even moved, I downgraded my iPad Pro too because the battery is horrible with, with 10. But with this phone, that's actually pretty good. Uh, but the way Apple does their usage uh, for their battery, I don't feel like I'm getting that much accurate screen on time. Um, so, you know, it, it's, I just, I just don't like the way they do their, I've never really liked the way they do their battery percentages in there for the battery, so I can see what I'm actually using. But right now it says eight hours and 39 minutes and 25 hours and 18 minutes for the standby. So that's, it is good battery, uh, but it's not the greatest. Uh, some other things that I think uh, I pointed out to myself while using this phone. Um, I really like, uh, I, I think you probably thought I was going to do another somewhat of a con, but I really like the overall performance of this phone. Here's something that I've really fallen in love with, with the iPhone 7. Now I went to pick up my iPhone 7 Plus, I went to pick up my Note 7 and they just keep selling out of the black ones before I can get it because I want to compare these cameras. Now, Samsung is known for having some of the best cameras on the market. Some people feel like they have the best cameras on the market. But, you know, a lot of times I've found out that a lot of people are just reading what they see online and they don't actually have both phones. Now, a lot of people in the poll that I put up said they weren't getting another Note 7. I actually really want one because I want my black to match, you know. Um, and I like to collect certain phones. So, some phones I like to have them in white, like my Moto line, you see it's shifted to white. And the iPhone and all the other phones I'm shifting pretty much to black uh, but I really want to compare this camera with um, the Note 7's camera like really side by side because this camera I've got a couple of videos up showing the camera and I'll try to remember to link it in this video description where I just did a camera review on this phone well, I just took it out for a daily grind. I went grocery shopping then I decided to stop in the open field and just snap some photos you know just doing something uh, but I love taking pictures of the sky, uh, clouds, and trees, and things like that. If you don't know, I've said that before in plenty of other videos. So um, I like to take a photo of the sky and the greenery. It's just beautiful, I think. And I got to tell you, this camera on here, this has nothing to do with the dual. You know, people say, oh, it's got dual. You can do the bokeh effect and you can zoom farther. The zoom is boss. I got to give it up. Uh, but the camera itself is just a phenomenal camera. Like, real talk, the the camera on here is great. Now I will be comparing this camera to the iPhone 7's camera. Just give me some time. I have a, a lot of stuff and I gotta review. I, I don't know if I'm really gonna review the iPhone 7. I'll probably just keep it close by and just talk about it on and off during the full review of this phone. I don't know yet. Uh, but you know, some people get really into the techie side of stuff and I just look at real world usage. usage. And the camera on this phone, or should I say cameras, uh, I definitely got to remember to put a link in the description. Uh, the cameras on this phone, they're, they are great. And they definitely rival the Note 7. Now I don't have my Note 7 with me, but when I played around with the Note 7 at the store with this phone, man, I got to tell you, I was impressed. Now, I went on record uh, when this phone first was announced and said, oh, it smashed the Note 7. So after having it in hand, this is why I do the after the hype videos. After having it in the hand and actually using it for three or four days, wah, 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 here comes another downer. It's just iOS. And, and you know how I feel about uh, iOS. I get bored like really quickly unless I'm on my iPad Pro 9.7. So without me having my Note 7 in hand, I can tell you um, the performance on this is better than the Note 7 because the Note 7 is super laggy. Uh, but this, the Note 7 is, I guess I want to say it's not, it's not more entertaining. Um, something about iOS, I just get bored really quickly. I guess it's just because all the icons are on here and I, there's no widgets or anything like that. Um, but, you know, I just get, I, I was funny, I told my wife, I said, man, I'm really getting bored already. I said, let me start trying to do some case reviews or something because I don't want to have this phone just sitting in the box when I get my Note 7 back. So... <laughs> Uh, but I did go on record and say, oh, this smash, you can see the video, this smash the Note 7. It's not that it smashed the Note 7, it caught up to the Note 7. It's now water resistant, it's not waterproof, it's water resistant, and it has, let me tell you, somebody was talking about the speakers on here, the speakers on this phone are great. Far exceeds the Note 7 speakers because you got an extra one up here, and then the one on the bottom is actually very loud. So. 
the speakers on here are much better than the Note 7 speakers. Yes, they are. Uh, but just the overall daily grind, I only have an iPhone. I've only kept an iPhone because people in my family have iPhones. They all use an iPhone. They all like to be on iMessenger. And I prefer, <laughs> I prefer Android or Blackberry, which they are around here somewhere. But, you know, iOS as a whole, I've always said, I think, I think it's better on a tablet. But just because I say I got bored a little bit with that doesn't mean I, I dislike the phone. But speaking of what I said in a previous video, it smashed the Note 7. Let me be clear on this. The presentation of, that they did for the iPhone was much better than the Note 7's presentation. I'm glad that Apple caught up to Samsung by doing something like um, dual speakers. And Samsung hasn't done dual speakers, but they've surpassed Samsung in that aspect. The speakers on this are better, like I said, than the Note 7. The cameras on here definitely rival the Note 7. And, you know, I can't give you a side by side, but what you can do is look at both of the videos that I've done on Note 7 and this phone, and then you can decide. Um, build quality, I think, is, you know, it's, it's decent, I, but the Note 7 to me has better build quality because this is still just a little round phone, a little oval shaped phone. It's really, you know, something about iOS draws me to it. The performance for one, this phone definitely outperforms the Note 7. Uh, even when they do get, the, since they do have the new batteries in them, and I still don't, I, there's no sluggishness with this phone. Um, you know, the screen is beautiful. The Samsung Note 7 has a quad HD display. It's not even that it has a quad HD display. If it had a 1080p display uh, and it was a Super AMOLED, I think it would still be better than this display. Uh, this display is good. Uh, the phone overall is solid. I haven't had any kind of crashes or nothing like that. Um, I'm still hyped about it. It may not seem like it, but you know, dude, I, got, I got a lot of phones, man, to keep up with. And I try to, I still have a life outside of YouTube. I don't just sit around and do YouTube videos all day, believe it or not. I have, I have lots of things that's going on in my life like you, <laughs> but I still squeeze time in there. So I'm always carrying about three phones or so. Uh, but this has been my daily driver. Like my main SIM card is in here. And I really can appreciate Apple's attempt at catching up with some of the other OEMs. And I say that not as an insult. Um, they're still not really taking advantage of this 5.5 inch display as far as dual windows because dual windows is nice. I really like dual windows. Um, but, and they still have, I'm, I'm just ready for Apple to do, they gave us water resistant, they gave us dual speakers, they gave us dual cameras. Um, you know, that's great. But, you know, I don't think this phone can, um, it's just, it's just that it's the best that an iPhone has to offer. It's not the best phone by a long shot. And let's be clear, there is no best phone. That's just don't, it just doesn't exist. Because you're always going to have something about a one phone or another that's better than the other. Let, let me give you an example. Let me grab something here. It's in the box. I haven't done my, I'm doing my follow-up video. But I will do this. Um, I will do a follow-up video. Because I got rid of my first one because I had some camera problems. Uh, but here is the Moto G4. Now this phone right here has a phenomenal camera. Check out the video. I'll, I'll got to remember to link it to this video in the description. I know this is after the hype for the iPhone, but you figure it out for yourself. Look at the video footage from this phone, and then look at the video footage from this phone. The difference is this is eight times more than this phone costs. So you, you get into a situation where, you know, you... You gotta, you have to factor in price. There's just no way of getting around it. I always back in the box. I always factor in price. Now, somebody told me, Jay, I know you're gonna say that the iPhone. I know you're not gonna say that the iPhone is worth the money. Well, again, worth is up to the person. If you're getting a lot of out of your phone, then it's worth it to you. Uh, but no, this phone is overpriced. You know, the 256 gig was a thousand bucks. This is 800, you know, no, it's actually, this is 860 with taxes, 855 is some change with taxes. And this is a 32 gig, no SD card, no nothing. My Moto G over there, and I'm just using that phone as an example because it's right there. It has adoptable storage, it has an SD card. You know, after I buy an iPhone, a lot of times I'll do my review on it. And then what happens to it if you don't see it on my channel anymore? It's not that I've gotten rid of it because you probably say, oh wait, man, Jay still got all those iPhones? Yeah. I'll lay them out on the table and do a video because of something else. This phone is very impressive. 
and the, the, the reason this one will get daily usage is because everybody in the family uses an iPhone. I prefer Blackberry or Android or just something else, a preference. That doesn't mean I don't like iOS. It just means that there's still a lot going on with, with Apple's uh, ecosystem that I really, really like, but the overall, I want a new design. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy that you guys caught up and you gave us uh, water resistance. You know, you gave us a better sound system. Uh, and I'm just being honest. Um, I'm not gonna praise uh, devices because it's new. Um, but th the fact that we're just getting here on iPhone, listen, this is a fantastic device. I'm still hyped about it. Just not as hyped as I want to be. So um, they gave us some speakers. They gave us the same body. They gave us new internals. There are these slow increments that Apple do, does. Um, and I've already put up in another video, don't upgrade if you have an iPhone 6S. If you have any other iPhone but the iPhone 6S or the 6S Plus, possibly even the 6, now that I've been using this, just don't upgrade, man. Unless you just want to do it and you know you just feel like you have to have the best, so to speak, because this is the best iPhone. This one is better than the iPhone 7. And I have the iPhone 7 before iPhone 7 users get mad. Oh, you just said, no, 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 listen. The iPhone 7 is a fantastic version of this phone right here. But you don't get the cameras. You do get the dual speaker. You get everything, I think, but the cameras minus one gig of RAM. And things like that, you know, people might harp on that. But, you know, listen, regular consumers, we can't tell the difference in RAM unless we're using an iPhone or, excuse me, an Android phone. That's when you can tell the difference in RAM. And that's just what it is. Android users, don't get mad. The, the, the fact is, you can't tell the difference between RAM when you're using certain phones. Windows Phone, Blackberry, iOS, old school WebOS, and we can go on, Symbian. Listen, when you're using an Android phone, you can tell when you don't have a lot of RAM. That's just, I mean, the Note 7 was a grand, basically, and this is almost a grand, and some of these phones, well, my other ones are a grand. Listen, I can't tell the difference in the performance with two gigs, and three gigs, flawless. But when I have an Android phone, I can tell the difference. And I think that's why a lot of people gravitate towards iOS. It's not this nonsense about it being magical or uh, it's user friendly, it's easy to use. Anyone can, that's, that's all a gimmick, a sale to try to get you to buy it. This is just as easy as all those Android phones. And the Android phones, I don't lose interest so fast. So I'm just being honest. If you don't see videos on this three months from now, that doesn't mean I got rid of it. It just means it's sitting in the box and I'm just using it or not sitting in the box or it's like in my third SIM slot because I need to keep up with my family and it's just being used as a phone phone. I'm not interested in doing videos on it unless I need to compare it to something. Real talk. So yeah, J. Will got a spoon in his mouth right now. I'm not afraid to say it. Got a spoon in my mouth. All oh, the iPhone 7 Plus smashed the Galaxy Note 7. Not so much. Now, <laughs> The presentation for this phone was the best that Apple has ever done. This is by far the best iPhone. I don't know why they didn't give the dual cameras on the smaller version. That would have been boss. We don't need the two gigs of RAM, but just to give the, two, the dual cameras on here would have been great on both models. So there you have it, spoon in, in hand, foot in mouth, <laughs> I don't care. I do like the iPhone 7, but I'm less hyped about this, I think, than I was for the Note 7 when I officially had my Note 7. And man, I'm gonna, if you see a Note 7 anytime soon, oh my gosh, that means I hurried up and I finally got mine in the store. I think I'm actually gonna leave and head over there right now. They don't close until eight o'clock. It's 5.09. I should be able to catch one of the stores and grab me a Note 7 in black. Now they do have silver and blue, but I want black. Mm. So there you have it, man. Um, after the hype for the iPhone 7, you know, just touching on a few things. This isn't a review, but after the hype for me, I think they're fun to do because the hype does wear off. And uh, it is what it is. The phone is good, it's not great. It's the best iPhone though. I have to go on record saying that. It is the best iPhone. You probably hear people saying that. That's the best iPhone. It is the best iPhone. It's your man Jay Will. After the hype for the iPhone 7 Plus, if you got one, I'm happy for you. I'll rock with you because I am gonna rock with the iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, the iPhone 7 will come out probably for a couple of reviews and that's probably it. I got more cases and stuff coming forward. I'll use it, but just not like this phone. 
And this phone will definitely be getting bumped down to like my second SIM, second SIM card. And I'll put my main SIM card back into one of my Android phones, hopefully my Note 7 really soon. If you see that video, I'm going straight in because I don't need to unbox it. I don't need to review it. I've already reviewed it. I'm going straight head to head with this phone. I need to review this phone. I don't need to review the Note 7. I can do a revisited video or something like that. But I want to put it against this phone right here so I can see just how good these cameras are. I'm not worried about performance because real talk, the Note 5 is probably going to always be sluggish compared to other phones because it has all those extra features in there. So the, the consumers say and the tech world says it just does not perform well because it has so much going on on top of stock Android. If you want the best, go with a Nexus for Android or go with something that's like a Motorola. Go with something that's more pure stock Android than other phones because you're going to get all that extra stuff and it's going to be sluggish. So after the hype for the iPhone 7 Plus, am I still hyped? Man, yeah, I'm hyped. I'm hyped.